Hey, this is another video in the Emacs series. Today we're going to talk about Norse code and NATO and the NATO alphabet. So it's going to be a pretty short video because there's not a lot of customizations. There's not really a minor mode or anything. It's just a couple, four helper functions that I found that I thought were pretty cool. I didn't even know it existed, but apparently there it is. So you might find it interesting. Who knows? Go ahead. Let's see and watch. All right, so first thing is I'm going to go jump over to the scratch buffer because I'm going to need some text. And I'm going to convert this into the text mode, and I'm just going to delete these. I'm going to zoom in, and then I'm going to put go part is awesome because let's admit it, we all think that, and we all know that. It's a fact. But anyways, the main point of this is to showcase Morse code and the NATO alphabet. Let's go ahead and convert this into Morse code, meta x, Morse code. Morse region, there you go. But um, it is now in Morse code. Look at that, isn't that pretty fancy? And we can also un, un revert it back to text via unmorse region. So there you go. So there is one way to convert from and to Morse code. It's already built in, it's auto loaded. You don't have to require any library or anything, any package, it's already built in. So that's pretty handy. Now we can also do the same about the NATO alphabet. So for example, uh, hello YouTube, let's go ahead and convert this into NATO. So NATO region, hotel, echo. So there you go, it's now into the NATO alphabet. And of course to denato it, we just call the NATO region. Hello YouTube. So this is not handling uh, case sensitivity. Like for example, if I uppercase everything and then call denato nato region and then do denato, it is lowercase because there's no way of differentiating upper and lowercase at the moment. And what about this one? Actually, this is a good question. The, I don't, I believe it is also all lowercase because I don't believe in Morse code you can denote you, know, you can spell out capital or not capital or lowercase. But let's go ahead. So Morse region, but um, and let's unmorse it, and it should be all lowercase again. Yeah, there you go. So that's the only downside, but that's just the way things are. But yeah, it's a pretty short video on these four little handy dandy functions. I can show you the source code, but it's pretty short. It's like 300 lines or so from oops, from what I remember. So yeah, around 300, 247 lines, even shorter than 250. And there's no customization options. And there is auto load, but it's just the functions, more region, unmorse, NATO, and NATO D region. So this might be a fun little read to go over and see the code, how they're doing it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. A short and sweet video. Tell me what you think. Bye.